about that time for the Midwest music grind. Independent artists shine. It's the Midwest music grind, and it's about that time for the Midwest music grind. Independent artists shine. It's the Midwest music grind. Yes, sir. What is popping, y'all? I hope y'all out there staying nice and hot, sweaty, and just out there acting up for the summer. Yeah, I know. I'm just playing, y'all. It's your boy, that boy Max, back once again with the hottest radio show in the tri-state region and even the Midwest, in my opinion. You know I'm talking about my show, the show, the Midwest Music Grind right here on 98.5 FM, WEOA. And you know I'm your host, man, and today, y'all, we're going to switch it up. Because we have somebody in here special today, y'all, because we have a show that's coming next Monday. Uh, We have the homie, man. Tristan Arnold is in the building, man. What's poppin', big man? How we doing? Doing all right. How are you, man? I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. I was going to spill the beans about the show, but I feel like that's your job, man, because you're an event promoter, and that's what you do. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You be booking artists and stuff in town and out of town, and I want to kind of highlight this week and let them know what's going on with it, man. So I'm going to give that to you, man. So go ahead and... Introduce yourself, man. Yeah, man. Uh, so I'm Tristan Arnold. We're uh, I'm with uh, Die Try Booking and Promotions, based uh, here out of Evansville, Indiana. Actually, nice. uh, so Monday night we have a show. Uh, Kung Fu Vampire. He's on tour with uh, his drummer Action Paxton, uh, Aku, Blue, uh, and Threeality. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we got local support with, uh, of course, Dad Boy Max. Yes, sir. What's uh, up, everybody? Nero Angelo, yep, Trent Small, and uh, uh, Jarrell McIntosh. You yes, know? sir. So Mr. McIntosh himself. It's going to be a, a pretty sweet night. It's going to be a Monday night, but hey, it's summer vacation. We yeah. got awesome hip-hop music, so many great talent. The Dumpster Babies, actually, they're coming. They're from uh, Owensboro, too, so that's going to be a good show, man. Yeah, across the water, man. Shout out to the Dumpster Babies, man, and shout out to all the artists that are performing, including myself, the Neros, the McIntoshes, and... Yeah, man, definitely Kung Fu Vampire as well. I think he might, you said he might be calling in, but we'll see what's up. We'll see what's yeah, up, y'all. Yeah, see. But yeah, man, like, I'm excited for this show. It is Monday. What's the actual date, though? June the... Yeah, June 17th, out there at Lamasco Bar and Grill. Okay. Yes, and what time does the show start, man? Uh, I think we're shooting for 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Doors are going to be at 6, though, so get there early. Get there early? What's the tickets yeah. looking like? How much is the tickets? Tickets pre-sale, they're $15. Uh... 20 at the door. Okay. I'm going to be doing the pre-sale price up until the minute security gets there. So, like, mm-hmm. if you didn't get your tickets at one of the links, text me. Text the page, Die Tribe Booking and Promotions. We'll get you in there. We'll get you in there for that early bird price. Early bird. Early bird yes, gets sir. the worm, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what's up, man. So, what got you into wanting to be a booking agent, man? Um. So, I've been playing in bands since I was, like, 10, 12 years old. Yeah. Um, and we would play all around. Anyway, I was in a band out here in Evansville as Torn Confidence. That was the original name. We changed our name to A Brighter End. I was also in another band called Dr. Rendezvous. Okay. And we were tired of dealing with booking agents and promoters because a lot of them, especially in like the punk, hardcore, metal scene, they always kind of have like this angle, kind of like used car salesmen, yeah. you know, yeah. or they'll put you on shows with bands that, you know, it just aren't, you know, no disrespect, but just aren't a good fit. Yeah. Uh, so we were tired of dealing with that. So me and my buddy Andrew Logan, who plays with Cage the Willis now, mm-hmm. um, they just did a big tour not that long ago. But anyway, we uh, we got together. We started booking these shows. He's kind of technically the founder, but over the past two, three years now, I've been doing all of the booking. Yeah. So... Yeah. So you kind of been spearheading everything for the past, he said, two or three years. So kind of basically after COVID, yeah, you kind of really got into really just being like, okay, I see the lane in this and what this can do for other people and yourself as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. So you've been in a few bands, man. What was that like being in a band for real? And what instrument do you play? Uh, I'm a drummer primarily. Okay. Uh, I do play guitar and bass and I do some like stuff with like the DAW, like beat making, mm-hmm. loops, samples, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, but primarily a drummer. 
I love playing in bands, man. Um, it's so much fun. But honestly, it's gotten to the point now with how long I've been doing it that the only part I really enjoy is the 30 to 45 minutes of stage time that we get. Yeah. Everything else about it, especially if we're, like, traveling, I really don't like. Um, I, I, I kind of keep to myself usually, like, I just play the drums, man. Everything <laughs> else is just chill out. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm a drummer too. Uh, I was drums in uh, in band, drums in my church, and of course, you know, in in producing, you know, I that's like my specialty is definitely the percussion side of it, the drums, the 808s, the all that fun stuff. To because to me, I like to give the beat the rhythm. Yeah. And whatever I'm hearing in my head, because I'm all I'm always making beats in my head or out loud, whether it's pencils or paper or pen, like pans and. All kinds of stuff, man. So I definitely feel you when it comes to, you know, being a drummer and just kind of just chilling out after that. Man, no, it's sure. it's the drums and the rhythm section that makes people dance, dude. Yeah, it's bro, the drums and, it's the drums and, and the bass. if you know my music, then you can tell, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm all about making people dance. Making people dance and, making and people bounce. making people actually just move in general. Yeah. No, like, that's a huge thing is making people move. Like, I, I used to tell uh, the guys when we were working on new songs and, like, bouncing out demos and listening back to it. Mm -hmm. Like they'll we'll be, we'll be like oh that riff's so cool blah 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 I'm like guys it, it doesn't mean shit if nobody can dance to it so right. let's rework it you know yeah, yeah. doesn't it's, mean crap my yeah. bad my you bad are good you are good bro I definitely understand it's all good um so you said so for two for so for two and three years you've been doing the whole promotion thing so um what made you go get Kung Fu Vampire. Uh, that kind of fell into my lap, man. I've been wanting to book a, a rap show for a while. I wanted to change it up because it just seems like every lineup I see recently in the city or nearby is kind of like the same handful of bands coming through. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to do something different. Wanted to do a hip hop show because I've been, you know, when I first moved here like seven years ago, first people I met in the scene were rappers. Yeah. Jarrell. Uh, Jamarcus, yeah. Um, uh, what's it? Plenty Rhymes, Plenty Go Crazy, mm -hmm. all those people. Nero, like those were the first people I met when I moved out here, and so I, I've been wanting to do a hip hop show. Yeah, they uh, go crazy too, bro. Like yeah. I love them, bro. Like straight up, I just love performing in general. But actually, just throwing your own show ain't nothing like it, man. Because you get that energy, you get that feeling in the room. Everybody's vibing now. You got the drinks going, so everybody's Dude. feeling themselves. So it's so and much then, fun. And then like the actual songs from everybody. You're surprised by some of the rappers because, you know, obviously, you know, it's easy to think, oh, he just raps. But no, that's not really the case. No. We put work into this. This is Lots art. of work. Yeah. So shout out to everybody that puts work into your craft. I promise it's not overlooked, bro. 100%. 100%. It is a lot of work, man. Um, and yeah, I, I saw that going to like the house parties, going to some of the shows at like PG or Wired. Mm -hmm. And there was a time where like some of the hardcore bands and the rappers, they were on They're the doing same shows bills. Together. Yeah, they were on yeah. the same some bills. The same shows. So it just made sense. Um, somehow Kung Fu got my number uh, from so and so and so and so. Um, I think Manny, who booked them last. Shout at out to PG. Manny in one shot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. I was just like, yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah. let's. I w I had just got out of the hospital, but I was like, fuck it, man, let's go. I wanted to yeah. do something different. Yeah, no, like sorry, I, I keep understand. cussing. I'm sorry, keep okay. cussing. It's okay, bro. No worries, <laughs> no worries, man. We gonna we gonna be all right, bro. Uh, I edit the show anyway, so it's not that deep. Okay, okay, no worries. Um, let me see. So okay, so I'm not really that familiar with Kung Fu Vampire, and maybe a lot of the listeners aren't either. But that doesn't mean that we can't get familiar with them, man. So give us a little bit of some background of Kung Fu, man. Uh, so he is from, I think, like the Bay Area. He's, okay. from, he's a Bay Area rapper. I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me. I would relate him to guys like Tech Nine, yeah. um, even Locksmith. Yeah. Uh, actually, the last time he came through was Lyricals. with Locksmith. Lyrics. Yeah, lyrics. Crazy really fast, choppy flow. Chopped up. He's done music with Twisted, uh, Hobson, uh, a bunch of other names like that, man. Like, he's just, he just goes everywhere. Um, yeah, man, I really like him. Music's yeah. kind of – the production's dope. It's interesting, too. Like, it's not just, like, the same old kind of, like, trap or drill beat. It's mm -hmm. just something different. Yeah, and he's, he's going cool. on last, correct, like, at the show? Yeah, yeah, him and the touring package, they, they kind of have, like, a combined set, which I think is kind of interesting awesome. the way he explained it to me. But, yeah. Okay. So have you thought about, you know, 
getting some more artists like under your belt to, you know, you want to book for or, you know what I'm saying, kind of help out and have more people come in here and then doing like more rap shows like in the future? I definitely want to do more rap shows. I definitely want to do like some pop-up events, something, mm-hmm. especially during summertime, something where we could just like post up on a street somewhere with like a couple vendors, food trucks, and a couple performers, have fun. Yeah. Um, Get like a little stage somewhere. Yeah. I want to do festivals. As far as branching out beyond like just the booking side of things, yeah. I've been thinking about like doing some type of artist consultation management thing but i'm yeah. still kind of yeah. looking yeah. into that i don't want to give anybody bad advice there's a lot of people out here who claim to be like music gurus or whatever <laughs> gurus. and 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 i yeah, don't tend to follow them man we so we got some people in town that got some gems to give out i mean some great advice some great consultation most that definitely we feel like people can you know take and apply to their own careers however well, that they see fit and I, I think to the, to that point, most definitely with the artists out here, the few artists who have been able to branch out past the city, mm-hmm. we you know we right now we are in a position in the market or whatever where we've kind of risen up and we're getting a lot more touring lot more packages eyes. coming a lot more through. Eyeballs are over here, man, and I, and exactly. I think a lot of Louisville, Kentucky, and Bowling Green, and just you know. A little bit of that has kind of helped them look more this way across the water, man, to where I feel like we need to be prepared as artists because we don't know what people are looking for to where it could kind of take off for anybody. Exactly. And more than that, beyond bringing their artists out here, what can we do to bring our people out out there? there. That's my big thing. That's my big thing. That is the thing of the day, the thing of the week, which is how can we get there? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's a big thing when it comes to your artistry. You know what I mean? You just want to be heard yeah. at the end of the day. So I feel like we need to travel and be able to do these shows outside of our comfort zone yeah. and, you know, show out Yeah, to the best of our ability, man. So I, I think that that's something that you should look into, man. And, you know, just take like a handful or whoever that you see fit and just see what you can do, man. Because, I mean, obviously you have some great connections and that's why you're doing what you're doing now. Yeah, I, I hope so, man. I, I, I hope I do. A good job. Sometimes, you know, there's a little bit of doubt that comes with it, but, you know, there are a lot You're of great human. artists out here mm-hmm. and that I'd want to work with and that I, I see a lot of potential in and then I want to help in any small way I can, you know, because there are a lot of shows. You can't always go to all the shows. Mm-hmm. I can't always make it to the shows, but if I can put together an event for you or if I can promote you or help put together a system that mm-hmm. gives you some type of lasting support, then I feel like I'm going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, and you're good at what you do, bro, because I've been watching you go crazy for this show that's coming up on Monday, going crazy for it, you know what I mean? So it's it definitely shows, you know what I mean? I'm looking forward to it on Monday. I hope y'all guys come out to Lamasco's on Monday, yes. June. June 17th at Lamasco. Yes, sir. Y'all know who's coming out here, man. We got Kung Fu Vampire coming out here. We got some great local artists across the tri-state that are going to be performing, including myself. I think it's going to be a great time, man. Come see it for yourself. Come out and catch a good vibe, man. I yeah. think it'll be worth it if you there guys mi- do come out. There so. might even be some special featured special surprises. Guests, special Who knows? Things going on. Yeah, no? That's why you up here. Bro, I appreciate you sliding through, Tristan, man. Absolutely, Give me some shout-outs real quick, man. Uh, so definitely shout-out uh, Kung Fu Vampire. Shout-out Aku. Shout-out Threeality. Shout-out Nero Angelo. Shout-out Trent Small. Shout-out The Dumpster Babies. Shout-out Macintosh. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout-out... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of people. A and, lot, man. You don't and, everybody. Andrew, uh, shout out Katie. That's my girlfriend. I love you. Yeah, and for yeah. sure, bro. And uh, give me your socials, man, so people can come find you and follow uh, you and subscribe to you. Go, go follow Diatribe Booking and Promotion on Facebook. Diatribe. Diatribe. Like D I E A tribe. Diatribe. Yeah. There That's you go. Up, man. All right, y'all. Well, y'all know what's going on, man. We going we just still getting started, y'all, for the summer, like whole series of the Midwest Music Grind right here on 98.5 FM. Like I'm excited for everything. We got shows coming up. We got new music coming out. We got new artists to get with. I'm looking forward to everybody, man. Make sure y'all holler at me. Make sure y'all holler at the homie Tristan, man, about getting some booking going. And yeah, see what's up, man. I'm looking forward to it, man. Thank you so much for sliding, bro. Yes, sir. And y'all have a great week. And I'll see y'all next time for a new episode, man of the Midwest Music Grind. Let go, baby. Bow. It's about that time for the Midwest Music Grind. Independent artists shine. It's the Midwest Music Grind. And it's about that time.
support the Midwest music, grind, independent artists shine, it's the Midwest music.